How much does it cost you to live in Perry, Georgia or move to Perry, Georgia? Welcome back to another video. My name is Misha Thompson, your favorite Warner Robins real estate agent. And in this video, we're gonna dive into the cost of living in Perry, Georgia. Is it affordable or is it not affordable? Let's find out. Let's start with something everyone needs. We all need to live somewhere. So housing is a big topic. And let me tell you, Perry is fairly inexpensive when it comes to housing. No matter if you want to rent or buy, it's fairly inexpensive. It's even cheaper than a neighboring city, Warner Robins. And by the way, Warner Robins is one of the most affordable cities in all of Georgia. So Perry is even more affordable than Warner Robins, which is great for you. So when it comes to the median home price, we're looking at around $180,000 at the moment. While renting a property, you can calculate about 800 bucks a month for a two bedroom apartment. So fairly cheap to live in Perry when it comes to housing, but let's move on. Transportation, well, let me tell you, there is no public transportation. So you have to rely on your car and it's still fairly inexpensive because the gas prices in Perry are still below the national average with around $2.40 for regular gas. So your transportation of choice is gonna be your car. Nevertheless, Perry is super convenient, located on I-75, which leads you up north to Atlanta and Macon and Savannah if you want, but you gotta, you know, you gotta take an exit to Savannah. But nevertheless, it's pretty easy to go everywhere, even to Florida. You just take I-75 straight down to Florida, pretty easy and simple. So very conveniently located, but if you are looking for public transportation, well, a little city like Perry doesn't have that at all. So your car is your expense for transportation and that includes insurance, that includes gas, that includes registration. Nevertheless, Perry is still below the national average when it comes to that. And the average cost per month for a single person here in the Perry area is around a hundred dollars. Yes, plus minus depending on how much you have to travel or drive. But that is the transportation part for you. Let's talk about the utilities because we all need running water, electricity. Some of us need gas, but we definitely need someone to pick up the trash. And on top of that, we might need internet, right? So in Perry, the cost for utilities is aligned with the national average. Sometimes a little bit higher, sometimes a little bit lower, but it's pretty much even with the national average, which means it is not that cheap, especially water. Water in Peary is more expensive than water in Warner Robins by quite a margin. Nevertheless, for a single person on average, you can calculate around $150 in utilities. That is on average. Yes, there are people that need definitely more. And if you're a family of more than two, you definitely need more. Electricity, of course, in the summer and in the colder days is a little bit more expensive, but more like in the summer because it doesn't really get that cold here. Nevertheless, electricity gets more expensive in the summer because your AC is running nonstop. Water is getting a little bit more expensive because you're watering your lawn because, you know, you don't want that grass everywhere. Nevertheless, 150 on average for a single person and when it comes to internet packages we got multiple providers more and more fiber optic depends on who you choose and what package you choose but you can calculate for the base package between 60 and 90 dollars a month that's the cost of utilities in Perry of course if you have a family, water is gonna be more expensive. We pay around 60 to $90 water in the summer, and then 130 to $170 in electricity, depending on how long the AC is running. So it can add up pretty quick, for sure. Nevertheless, it is pretty even with the national average. So not much lower, and also not much more expensive. Let's talk about groceries and dining. One of my favorite categories because I love food. Do you like food? Put that in the comments below. Nevertheless, groceries are slightly below the national average in Perry. There are multiple options to go and shop for groceries, Publix, Walmart, or you drive to Warner Robins, you have Kroger's. I think there's a Kroger's in Perry as well. There is, but there are multiple options to shop. And if you want to shop 
at Sam's Club, there is one in Macon as well. The cost of groceries in the city of Perry is slightly below the national average. When it comes to dining out, there are numerous options in Perry, from mom and pop restaurants, some higher end restaurants, some mid range restaurants, and of course, we got all the chains like McDonald's, Wendy's, Taco Bell, and so on. So if you're calculating for the cost of dining, for a chain restaurant, you probably have an average of 10 to $20 per meal, while on a mid-range restaurant, you're looking probably between 30 and $50 per meal, and then, you know, it goes up if you go to the higher end, of course. Nevertheless, it is pretty affordable to go grocery shopping and dine out in Perry. On average, a single person spends about $150 in groceries in the city of Perry, according to statistics. So that's not my opinion, people. I know that there are people that spend way more in groceries on a monthly basis, especially if you have a family. I mean, we probably spend four times that much a month. All in all, Perry is very affordable when it comes to groceries. It is slightly below the national average and there are multiple dining options for your budget. The last factor of the cost of living in the city of Perry, Georgia, is healthcare and insurance. Yeah, very important. We all need that in some way or another. Some people don't want healthcare insurance or insurance and that's their choice. But for everyone who needs healthcare insurance, then this is for you. Here in Perry, the cost for healthcare and insurance is pretty much aligned with the national average. It's not lower, it's not higher, it's aligned with the national average. A visit to your primary care provider will cost you around $100 per visit in Perry, while visiting a specialist averages between $150 to $200. When it comes to your health insurance premium, depending on what coverage, what plan, whatever you can put in those insurances you have, it ranges from $300 to $500 a month for an individual plan, which for me, that sounds pretty insane, but that is what the cost of insurance and healthcare is in Perry, Georgia. Overall, the cost of living in Perry is very affordable, and that's probably a reason why a lot of people move to Perry and settle in this beautiful little charming town. So if you are looking for a charming little town, Perry is amazing. It's just so cute. I mean, come on, Perry is amazing. It has a lot to offer as well. But if you have any questions, if you're thinking about making the move, if you are not knowing if you want to make the move, check out the videos up here to get more information about the middle Georgia area. If you like this video, smash the like button, comment below what you like, if you have any questions or what you didn't like. So overall, Perry is a very affordable town in the heart of Georgia. That's probably why a lot of people decide to settle here in this charming town of Perry, because that's what it is. It's a cute Cute little charming town. I absolutely love it. And if you have any questions, my contact information is in the description below. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on to stay up to date with all the latest videos I'll post, which I do weekly. And I'll see you in the next one.